From the IHLS studios in Tel Aviv, this is Homeland Security Weekly Report. Hello and welcome to Homeland Security's Weekly Report. I'm Anna Brooks. One of Israel's main goals during this operation is to target and destroy stockpiles and launch sites of the Hamas rockets. According to high-ranking Hamas officials, the Israeli army has been successful in this aim. The IDF has a regularly updated target bank, which it is using in the operation. In addition, targets of opportunity are being attacked after being located and identified by aerial sensors mainly on unmanned air systems. The IAF has so far used more than 12,000 tons of weapon systems in this operation. Since the beginning of Israel's protective edge operation, the first unmanned air system squadron, part of the Israeli Air Force, have almost been in constant flight circling around the clock over the Gaza Strip in their Heron 1 UAS. It has certainly been playing an important role in the effort to suppress the regular launching of rockets from Gaza directly into Israel. Members of the British Armed Forces have leaked confidential information on Twitter and Facebook, according to figures obtained from the Ministry of Defense. According to cases released under the Freedom of Information Act, the MOD reported at least 11 instances of restricted and confidential information being leaked by members of the armed forces from 2011 to 2013. A Washington think tank has estimated the likely annual cost of cybercrime and economic espionage to the world economy at more than $445 billion, or almost 1% of global income. According to the Washington Post, the estimate by the Center for Strategic and International Studies is lower than the eye-popping $1 trillion figure cited by President Obama, but it nonetheless puts cybercrime in the ranks of drug trafficking in terms of worldwide economic harm. Cybe Aero, a Swedish company specializing in unmanned aerial vehicle helicopters, has received an order of 70 rotary wing drones valued at $100 million over eight years. Assuming the deal is approved by the Swedish Agency for Non-Proliferation and Export Controls Department, the Chinese AVIC company will receive shipments for the unmanned helicopters. That's it for this week's report. Here's hoping for a peaceful and quiet week. See you at the same time, same place next week.